Hey guys, let's learn how to shut down the hip. So we're out right now for a little leisurely drive down the Vegas Strip, and we're getting hungry. So let's pull into the burger joint coming up here on the right and uh, shut it down. We're going to do this in a couple of different ways. The first time we'll do it by the book, we'll go through all the different steps, shut down all the systems in the right order, show you how that's done. And then we'll do it a second time in a more abbreviated sort of LOL, it's a video game style that I imagine most of you will probably end up using more than the full checklist shutdown. Especially, you know, if you're just trying to get repaired or you just want to shut the engines down but you don't really care about the rest because you don't really have to fly this helicopter tomorrow. You just want to get it stopped. So we'll cover both. So we're just going to pull in and park right next to this pickup truck here. Right there, that should be good. Put a break on. Alright, now the order for this is going to be basically the opposite of the startup, except a couple of little differences, but not much. Let's first of all hop out and have a look at our parking job. Beautiful. That's great. That's exactly where we want to be. Alright, so jump back in here and let's begin with our start or with our shutdown. So if you think about what our startup process was one of the very last or the very last thing we did was turn on all of our electrical systems that require generator power so after our generators were on we could turn on a few other things now in, in my startup I tend to turn these things on a little bit sooner but they don't actually get power until the generators are on so things like uh, gyro cutouts and switches and pitch limiting system audio warning, nagging Natasha, they can all come off. Everything on both triangle panels can be turned off. Doppler system, uh, VHF radio, um, all this stuff, the artificial horizon, all of that can come off. And we can turn off our lights as well. A couple of banks of them. And back here as well. So we can turn off both of our triangle panels both of our, or all of our lighting banks, and we can turn off our radar altimeter while we're here as well. Um, we can also turn off our dust protection. We don't need that anymore, and if you happen to be using it, your anti-icing system can be turned off. All right, so once we have electrical off all the systems that require the generators, we can turn the generators off, and we do that in the following order. Start with the rectifiers, one, two, three, turn them off. Then we can flip our inverters, number two to off, number one up to manual. And then we can turn our generators one and two to off. So there goes our generator power. So anything that they were powering, we've already turned off, which is good. And now we can go ahead and shut down our engines because our generators are off. So what we're gonna do first is throttle down. And that's right here in our twist grip. We're gonna turn that all the way left. Throttle down to idle, engine RPM comes down, and we're supposed to wait now two minutes, two full minutes for engines to cool down. Two hours later. All right, so after waiting two minutes, we can now shut the engines off. So up here, our engine stop handles, left and right and then those are now shutting down we can watch as our main rotor rpm spools down we have to wait for this to drop to 15 percent and then we can engage our rotor brake which is the e-brake looking handle down there but it's not safe to engage that until we hit 15 percent rpm so a little more waiting go that's 15 percent and you can see what that looks like not moving too fast hit a rotor brake watch that drop down pretty quickly now okay with the rotor fully stopped and the brake engaged we can now turn off the fuel so we've got our shutoff valves left and right up here and then our service and left and right tank pumps can be turned off so we're no longer feeding fuel to the engines, they're all shut down. And at this point we can start turning off circuit breakers. So jump into the middle, look up, and we've got this great big panel up here. 
it was going to depend on what you were doing and whether you followed my startup guide or something else, but you got to turn all these off, all nine banks if applicable. So the weapon ones are already off. We weren't using them for this flight and our anti-icing is already off. Um, standard procedure if you don't need it. So then we have to go through and unfortunately click all of them one by one, go through all nine banks because there's, while they have the lifters here to turn them on, there's nothing like that to turn them all off. So here we go. All right, that's the last of those. So all of that is turned off. Then we can come over here, we can turn off our inverter and we can turn off our batteries. That's everything for power. We've turned off our lights, we've turned off our systems, turned off our Doppler um, radar altimeter. We're basically back to cold and dark. Open our blister window to get some air in here. Oh, there's one more thing. The manual does say that the very last thing to turn off is our flight recorder, which you will find here behind the pilot commander. Off. All right, so let's go do that one more time, and this time we'll do the abbreviated shutdown. Oh, man, this time we crashed into a police car. we got to shut this thing down in a hurry. We don't care about anything else. Let's just get it shut down. All right, um, turn these off. Turn off your generators. Turn off your batteries. I mean, if you really want to, you can turn off your fuel, I guess. Probably, you know, so you don't blow up kind of important. Screw the rest, it doesn't have power anyway. Fifty percent? Eh, good enough. See? It's fine. Now you can call the ground crew for repairs or get the hell out of here or whatever it is you want to do, but if you need to shut down in a hurry, engine stops, turn off your electrical, turn off your fuel, rotor brake, and uh, hello Mr. Cop Car. Alright, so that about does it for shutdown in the hip. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and useful. Um, if I got something wrong, if I missed anything, please let me know. Or if you just want to yell at me for the second shutdown here, please do so in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.